Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Unit Lost. My name is Kerry Off and today I had a look at Steam and I saw that you could pre-order Assassin's Creed Unity and oh good lord I got excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a massive Assassin's Creed fan, apart from Assassin's Creed 3 which was, let's be honest, kind of, it was a bit shit. But, all the other ones I've really enjoyed and I've been looking forward to Unity. It looks like quite a good setting, it looks like it's gonna continue the story pretty well. All in all, quite excited. Until I saw the price which was 49.99 of your English pounds, which is fucking expensive. Then I looked at it and I saw something about how, oh, season pass. Enjoy all the DLC. Oh no, but that wasn't for the 49.99 one, that was for the one that usually costs 70 quid, but can be yours for the bargain price of 65 quid at the moment. And I thought, well, fuck that, that's bollocks. So, then I did a little bit of investigating. Had a look, Far Cry 4, also 50 quid, also should be 70 quid, for the special spend all your money because you're an idiot edition. And I thought, well, okay, hang on. This is a price hike. It's, it's a bit of a price hike. I'm pretty sure I did not pay that for Black Flag. I didn't pay that for Assassin's Creed 3. So, what's going on? Maybe it's just Ubisoft. So they said I'd, you know, decided to just up the price of their most well known and beloved franchises? Possibly. I'll have a look at EA. What are EA doing? So I went on to uh, Origin, which is better than Uplay, but not as good as Steam irritating site to navigate and I had a look and oh dear me ladies and gentlemen Battlefield Hardline 50 quid 50 quid for Battlefield Hardline have you fucking seen Battlefield Hardline? have you played it? it's fucking stupid why would you even play that game? it's just Battlefield 4 with cops and crooks it doesn't make any bloody sense at least in a war zone you can expect constant deployment of troops in fucking Hardline you've got about a thousand criminals to rob one armoured van what's the profit margin on that? Two quid each. Brilliant. Oh, you've already spent a thousand dollars on fucking rockets for your rocket launcher. I'm afraid, sir, you're out of pocket and all of your friends are dead. Well done, congratulations. Fucking stupid game. It should be DLC at best. Uh, no, at best it should never have been made. But it should at least be DLC for Battlefield 4, given it's the same engine, the same models, the same everything, just with a more ridiculous concept. And then I thought, well, okay. Okay, Battlefield, big franchise. Big franchise, you know, they're going to sell that for 50 quid because they can, because idiots will just buy it. And then I looked, and uh, I got sad, ladies and gentlemen, because Dragon Age Inquisition, also fifty pounds. Now, now, see, this is the problem, right? Dragon Age Origins was fantastic; it was a brilliant game. Dragon Age Two was a pile of shit. It was Mass Effect crossed with Dragon Age, and it managed to get rid of all of the best things from both and keep none of the good things. And it was just not very good. It was nothing like Origins. It was crap. The only thing they did was make the wizards me be, you know, slightly more fancy. Wizards? Mages. I've been playing Destiny. So, for them to charge 50 quid for the sequel to a terrible game from a franchise, which, let's be honest, is a bit old now. It's a little bit old. I mean, when did Dragon Age 2 come out? It was fucking years ago. Years and years. And now they're going to charge 50 quid for Inquisition. Which... Let's face it, at its best, will probably still not be as good as Origins. Because Origins took too much effort. And they don't want to put effort into games. They just want to rehash the same old shit. And unfortunately that applies to all four of the games I've mentioned here. What exactly is going to be different about Far Cry 4 to Far Cry 3? Far Cry 4 is going to have a guy in a pink suit. Brilliant, sign me up. Oh no, don't. It's just going to be exactly the same. Assassin's Creed Unity, yeah, I'll play it and I'll enjoy it. But I ain't fucking paying 50 quid to play it. I'll wait until I can pick it up second hand for the PlayStation 4. Because there's not a chance in hell I'm spending that much money on a game which, let's face it, is going to be very similar to Black Flag, except with less ships and more France. Battlefield Hardline is a worse Battlefield 4 with a more stupid, ridiculous system for winning and it makes no sense whatsoever. They've looked at Payday and gone, holy shit, this is a fucking indie game and it's done really well. We can make cops and roggers. How are we going to do it? Robbers, robbers, even. How are we going to do it? How should we do it? Oh, what have we got? Let me think. Oh, hang on. We've got Battlefield Four. We've got we've got the engine that we use for Battlefield. Um, should we make it small scale? Should we make it you know so that like there's a small group of criminals and they've got to pull off some sort of heist, and then there's cops that turn up. Oh no, that's what Payday did. We can't do that. What should we do instead? I know. Let's just make it a standard game of Battlefield Four. 
a standard game of capture, a standard ticket game, and just, like, change the models to police officers and criminals. Let's just do that. Men in balaclavas, men in hard hats. Brilliant! Let's sell it for 50 quid. No, fuck you. As for Dragon Age, it, uh, really? Really? You completely fucked that franchise. You fucked it sideways, you fucked it up and down. And now, because you're bringing it back, you want to charge 50 quid for the privilege of finding out whether you can in fact do your own fucking IP justice? I think not. When did games get so fucking expensive? And when, when did the most expensive games just become fucking rehashes of old games? Battlefield is going to be the same as Battlefield. Far Cry is going to be the same as Far Cry. Assassin's Creed is going to be the same as fucking Assassin's Creed. The only reason to buy any of these games is for a continuation of story or the vague, the vague glimmer of hope that perhaps, just maybe, just slightly, they might have changed something and made it better. But they fucking won't have done because this is Ubisoft. This is EA. They are rehash kings. They absolutely love the rehash. They will keep releasing these fucking overpriced piece of shit games for as long as people buy them. And unfortunately, people will buy them. Because for some reason, somehow, the biggest strength of Battlefield game is that it's more like the last Battlefield game than the previous one. The biggest strength of Assassin's Creed is that it gets slightly more complicated as you go on. They added in ships. Well, in fact, no, they start from the beginning. First, you had one set of weapons, then you could buy other weapons, then you could change your costume, then you could buy houses and shops and earn money, and then buy landmarks, and then you had ships. Now, what's going to happen in in Assassin's Creed Unity? Are we going to be able to build the Eiffel Tower? Uh, I mean, what, what is going to happen? The Louvre, do we get to purchase that and put our great works of art in there? I don't fucking know. But the basic gameplay is going to be exactly the same. The basic gameplay for Battlefield is going to be exactly the fucking same. The basic gameplay for Dragon Age will probably, in fairness, be exactly the fucking same as Dragon Age and Dragon Age 2. The problem with Dragon Age 2 wasn't the gameplay. It was the gash story, the fact you couldn't create your own character and everything revolved around a Mass Effect style hero that you just made to look slightly how you wanted it to. It's just fucking expensive rehash after expensive fucking rehash and because we keep buying this shit, I get to go to Steam every now and again and absolutely fucking shit myself because suddenly a game that I used to like and was looking forward to the sequel of is now fucking 50 quid. It's not acceptable. It's fucking stupid. And as long as we keep buying it, it will stay stupid. And unfortunately, all I can do right now is fucking rant about it because I know the second that Hardline comes out, it will sell a fucking million copies. Assassin's Creed will sell millions of copies. Dragon Age? I don't know. It might sell millions of copies. I'm not really sure. But let's face it. Even if it only sells, what, 500,000 copies? They're 50 quid each. So they're fucking rolling in money. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. I'm starting to get fucking sick of sequels. I'm getting sick of sequels costing so much. Especially when most publishers and developers won't touch a new IP with a fucking 10 foot barge pole. I mean, I don't recall Titanfall being 50 quid. Maybe it was, at some point, but I never got it for that. I wonder why that is. Would it be because it's possibly an untested IP? Yeah, it got a lot of hype, a lot of promotion, but... Let's face it, it could have flopped. Is Battlefield Hardline gonna flop? No, it's shit, but it's going to sell, and it's going to sell at 50 quid a copy. Except for the point where it sells at fucking 70 quid a copy for all the season pass DLC shit that goes along with it. Jesus fucking Christ. Can we please, please do something, as some sort of community, to point out that 50 quid for a digital download is a bit fucking absurd. What do you get with that digital download? You get a digital fucking hat, a digital fucking coat, for pre-ordering, for an obsessive amount, like an excessive amount of money, and what do you get in terms of physical stuff? Oh, that's right, nothing, nothing at all. No, no, you just pay fifty quid to press a button on your computer. It's not even in a fucking box. Digital is supposed to be fucking cheaper than buying it in a box. The method of distribution is easier. It's more centralised. It's easier for people to get to. So why the fuck is it fifty quid for a brand new fucking version of Battlefield? Bullshit. I'm not having it, and I ain't fucking buying any of it either. Neither should you. Christ.